します。Good morning from Miami Beach. This is Dr. John Bennett of Neurosurgical TV. I have the honor today of starting the China uh, Neurosurgery Grand Rounds. And we have a Dr. Kian, and we'll let Yuha introduce him. Hello, good morning, Yuha. Uh, good morning, good morning, or here this afternoon. So, Dr. Xian is a very experienced neurosurgeon from the Henan Provincial People's Hospital in Chengzhou. China, where I am also working with him. He is uh, very talented doing difficult operations and has great experience. So we will have, we will hear his experience on uh, on uh, spinal dural AV fistulas and especially on the hybrid operations. So please, Thank from you. my side, it's okay now. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Professor, uh, can, we, can we start our meeting? Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you, every professor. Uh, I'm Dr. Chen. Uh, first, I'm using the... Okay, very good. Yes, can see yes. the PPT? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay, yeah. Make, make bigger, make bigger. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. perfect, so, perfect, perfect. Okay, perfect? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, uh, welcome Mr. Ivory Professor. I come here to give this, uh, this discussion. I'm Dr. Chen Rongjun. Uh, I'm the director of the trial and uh, clinical neurosurgery Henan Provincial People's Hospital, China. And uh, this is a bigger hospital. And uh, Juha, Professor Juha come here uh, more than one year. And uh, we have the cooperation. Two years. Our workers, Two years. yeah, it's very good. Uh, today, uh, I want to keep the, uh, a simple case of the dual uh, atrial venous fistula with hemorrhage. Um, because then the, uh, this uh, patient, then uh, we got it from the other hospital. And uh, we using the hybrid operation and uh, to uh, control it. Easier. So, and I want to report it uh, to every professor, and we can discuss it together. Okay, let's let's we uh, let's we let's us start it. Okay, the patient's uh, situation, and uh, this patient is uh, uh, since seven years old, is a male. And the chief complaint is the headache and the lost the consciousness suddenly two hours. From our hospitals come to the Henan Provincial People's Hospital. And from the first the CD scans, and we can see he has the uh, hemorrhage intracranial and uh, the sub the hemorrhage and uh, use the hematomas in the frontal lobe. Maybe this is the first, the second uh, CT scan, uh, maybe and, uh, two or three hours later. You can see there is the uh, subdurers, the hematoma, and uh, the hematoma is the frontier, and uh, this is the subdural the MRE. Like this, the patient, uh, we think maybe this is the aneurysms or the AVM and the others, the manifest dollars, and like this, the piece. And so, we think maybe using the, using the CTA. Yes, this is the CTA's results. You can see there is the fistula in the front here. This is a bigger, where is the aneurysm like this? We think because this is the aneurysm and it has a hemorrhage. So, how to do it, and uh, we have uh, discussed in our department. Uh, so uh, after a dis discussion, and uh, we decided to do the operation for this patient. But uh, where, and uh, we have to discuss this, uh, where, which, which, the, which room or which operation room? And we have a hybrid operation room. And so we using the hybrid at that time, and uh, at first using the DSA pre operation. From the DSA, then we can see 
this is a fist dollar is here. Sorry, and here we have a short video. I want to how to use an age. Mm -hmm. Are you got it? Oh, sorry. Not yet. Not yet. John, they have started. Is Juha here? Yeah, yeah, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Juha, one second. Yeah. Well, keep trying, yeah. uh, Doc, Dr. Kian. Sorry. I will uh, three, three. That's okay. That's okay. You did it before. Just like before. Just before. Yeah, remember before you did it? I want to use in the video and be from the union. Yeah, we'll play Can the you? video separately. Okay. Like play the video right now. Hey, Juha. I'm here. Okay. Yeah, can you see uh, Salona and... Where's Fitri? Fitri is looking at Korean drama. Oh, <laughs> Korean drama. Okay, go <laughs> ahead. Okay, back to the presentation from the <laughs> Korean soap opera. Yeah, yeah. And professor, can you see this yeah, the short yeah. video? Yeah, make bigger, make bigger, make, make video bigger. bigger. Can you make bigger? Uh, because this the video and only this. How see it? Okay. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Good. Okay. Good. This the first. The uh... oh, sorry. Ah. Uh... You can start again if you want to start again. You can start again. Okay. Whoop. We get it. it. Takes time. Yes, from the videos we can see the ingredients here. Okay. This is the artery, and so we club it. Which one of these is the, the various department? So, and uh, we'll cut it and remove it. Little choppy. <laughs> this uh, Cam Tomer is it here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is the CDA and uh, this is the DSA and um, pre the operation. And we got the we got this picture of the from the DSA, and so we the operation for it. This is a picture from the intra operation. Like this, the video, show the video. Is that? Up to the vision, using the hybrid operation rooms, and we using the DSA to confirm the fist dollar is then had a disappearing. You can see this. This is the CD of the positive operation. And uh, this patient we got the uh, follow up to three months and uh, uh, maybe uh, come here than uh, six months. Everything is good. And this patient can go to home and it can work. 
So today is uh, uh, the short discussed uh, uh, only a simple case, and uh, uh, we want to using this case and uh, to let us uh, to discuss the other um, fifth dollar. Uh, we think uh, maybe the Dr. Joa, Dr. Joha, and uh, others professors give our advice how to deal with the, this patient like this. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Very, 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 very good, Dr. Kian. Uh, yeah. You, you have, I'll let you take over, okay? Yeah. Because uh, uh, we have maybe their answer. Can you hear oh, me? Yes. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Now, this is a front basal durale fistula in a 67 years old male, a severe bleeding twice, and uh, was operated very fast in a hybrid room. So, I think these are the durale fistulas that should have microsurgical operation. Even I have seen here. Last week, I saw Professor Xu was doing by endovascular, that kind of uh, fistula without bleeding. But uh, <coughs> they are very skillful endovascular surgeons here, so it's difficult to catch that kind of cases. But here, I think uh, heavy bleeding, shift, so it's the best way is to operate on. And, uh, I would do my lateral supraorbital approach in these cases, mm -hmm. going down, going down and then occluding the fistula, but also coagulating it down. And, uh, with microsurgery, you can do well. Many times these fistulas are fed by ophthalmic arteries, so this is the advantage of an open microsurgery. You can save the ophthalmic artery, which is in danger in endovascular procedures, even the case Professor Xu was doing, it went well, he went bilaterally, it has bilateral feeders, so he could uh, occlude totally the neural heavy fistula by endovascular means. But, uh, I think these are the few neural heavy fistulas that nowadays still need operations and are well done by open microsurgery. That is what I have to can say to this case. Okay, I, do you have any comments, I? Yeah, I mean, um, it's a rather straightforward surgery. I would never, never think about an endovascular procedure here in Nepal for a surgery like for something like this. I would never think about an endovascular procedure here. It's just about disconnecting the venous connection, and uh, then you're done. So um, you really don't. It is not a very complicated surgery. So, if, as you have said, it's uh, it's uh, it's heavy bleeding and things like that, I would rather definitely not. Uh, even if I had the endovascular option, I would rather go ahead for the surgery. Uh, it is definite. There is no doubt about it. Once the surgery is done, it is definite. So, and it is a uh, straightforward, uh, easy access. Uh, Surgery, of course, I mean, surgeries, all surgeries, vascular surgeries are very, very difficult and can sometimes give uh, heartaches. But on the other hand, I would rather go with surgery. I mean, this one, well done, very well done. That's all I can say. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Yes, Dan. Very good. More comments from the panelists? Uh, does anybody have anything to say? Come on, guys, rescue me. Uh, does anybody want to introduce themselves? This is your chance. Yeah. Uh, hello, uh, Professor Ip. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I know uh, if the fistulas in the uh, in the cranial, and so many people and many doctors and we are using the intravascular and the series and the two eight two ways eight. If. Okay. Uh, if the fetal dollar with the hemorrhage is that, and how do you think, uh, how to deal with the, in this patient? I told you my opinion. This is uh, the best micro 
Michael Surgical Case, it will mm. be done by open, open uh, surgery, and uh, especially in this case, you had a large expanding hematoma, mm. so it should be that taken out by surgery. Unfortunately, I have to say, here in Henan Provincial People's Hospital, like all China, the endovascular surgeons are very strong and skillful, so they are taking over many cases and trying their limits. So many, many cases which could be operated maybe better by open microsurgery go to endovascular mm. hands. And another thing is that the people here are uh, not so happy with open surgery, so they are afraid of surgery. And one of the things is that uh, you are shaving the hair always by open microsurgery. You could, for example, in this case, you could just make a little shaving, and this may would make the make the attitude of the people, patients, by far better to open microsurgery. I had recently a 18 years old female operated on half a year ago. She was visiting me and she was most happy that her shaved hair was shaved. So she had beautiful long hair, so she was so happy that she had not to stay home, not to go outside with a bold head. This is very important. I think this is very difficult to introduce in, in China. The tradition is to shave all the heads. And so I, do, I would, my main comment is here that you should shave the hair. Certainly this is a frontal incision here. Mm -hmm. So you can shave the hair. And the patient is immediately social after that. I have told that two years all the time, but uh, it, to change China is very difficult. But uh, for you, think about it. I see always that the patients have lost their hair only in my hands. They, they are saved, the hair. So, Jaip, how are you doing? Okay. okay, there's a question. Uh, do you have any comments, Ipe, or you want me to go on? Uh, there's a question here from Dr. Asus. Does evacuation of the hematoma only work in dural AVF like AVMs with a hematoma? Did you get that question okay, Dr. Kian? Hello, Doctor. Did you did you get the question? Okay, you see the question. It says, "Does does evacuation of the hematoma only work in dural AVF, like AVMs with a hematoma?" Does Does anybody understand that question? <laughs> uh, I can answer. I think it is not not different. Maybe in dural AVF fistulas is more easy because the lesion is more easy. So it is also more easy to take the hematoma out than in the AVMs where you are, where you might have bleedings when you are taking out the AVM. My point is that you always take the AVM out at, uh, at, when you are doing craniotomy for the hematoma. So here, the same. The same. The hematoma is removed at the same craniotomy. Okay. So, Dr. Redmi asked, how did what you it, do? go ahead. Go ahead, Yuha. How did you do, Dr. Xian? You took also the hematoma out. There was subdural hematoma and then intracerebral hematoma. Did you hear that, Dr. Kian? Hello, Dr. Kian, are you there? Hello? Oh, did, did you hear what you have said? Oh, sorry, just the noise that my computer has the problems. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, could you okay. repeat repeat the question you have, please? 
Ja, okay. ja Dr. Sian, how ja. was the hematoma? When you opened the head, was it tight, brain, subdural hematoma was coming out, and then you had also intracerebral hematoma there. So you took both hematomas out, I suspect. I have not seen this operation because there are many operations in a big hospital. Yes, uh, if the if the patient uh, uh, with the hematomas the in the canal and uh, we think uh, maybe the open uh, surgery is right, and uh, when we uh, deal with the fistulas or the EVM, EVF, after that, and uh, we uh, will uh, we will in evacuation the 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 hematoma at the same time. But how was it in how was it in this case? This case. Yes, and the base case, and we can see that the arterial from the base case, from the basis of the dura, and uh, and using a clamp, and to clamp it. How do well is that about you, Professor? Hmm? How do how to do uh, deal with the eight uh, if you, Professor? How to deal with the base of the dura? If you see this uh, uh, case, yeah, I would uh, do the same way: frontal opening and then go taking the hematoma out. That was a subdural mm -hmm. hematoma, and then intracerebral hematoma, and uh, treat the lesion, dural heavy fistula also. So I think uh, I would not do differently. Of course, every surgeon has different tactics and techniques, but uh, I think. Uh, the surgery, like I said, is straightforward and you can do it well. And uh, we didn't have intraoperative angiography in Helsinki, or I have not done here in hybrid room. You can do it also without uh, intra or hybrid room this surgery. So uh, let let other people talk now. Tell their opinions. I can you comment? Mm -hmm. IP there? He may have stepped away. Yes. Yeah. IP, IP, you there? Uh, I, just, I yeah. think he, I think he stepped away. Uh, yes. Some, uh, I see there are some professor and uh, we'll ask uh, and uh, how do they take the dural natures and uh, feeding the visio visio at the level of the dural? How to deal with the feeding feeding visio at the level of the dural? Okay. Uh, it is, uh, yeah. uh, I think uh, that many in your research say that you need only a clip. Just put the clip. clip. But I, clip. I don't think it, it, I don't think it is good because you are there. So I use bipolar coagulation, bipolar mm. coagulation and bipolar coagulation. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Any any other comments from the panelists? I think I stepped away, but there's other panelists here. Come on, come on, you guys, interact. This is a tool to use. Like any surgical tool, if you don't use it, it's worthless. <laughs> oh, leave me uh -huh. out. Leave me out. Uh, okay, well, Joanna, say something and finish to you, huh? Are you there? Are you there, Joanna? <laughs> hi. Hi, everybody. Hi. Please say hi to you and finish. Hey, uh, Professor Hernes Niemi, Tervesia oh, Helsingistä. Tervesia uh, Helsingistä. Hello, <laughs> Johanna. <laughs> How good. is things there? How is things in China now? Better, right? Uh, uh, we are, China is slowing down with Corona, the, but still, I think this is like a European current time. We, we, when you go to hospital, then they are checking your temperature. You have to wear masks all the time, except now when I'm speaking here at home. But you have to wear masks and everyone is wearing masks here. Of course, because the number of people is here extremely much. So as compared to Finland, there's a big discussion uh, about the masks. 
in Finland there are not so many people as compared to China where you are all the time in contact with other people. Maybe it is different situation and masks here are certainly necessary, not in Finland. So you can discuss further the need of masks. And then uh, they are checking with cellulars when you, uh, where you have been. So the, all the time cellular control still, still. So I don't know when this will open. I cannot travel. I'm locked in in China because if I go out, I, I might, for example, take a flight to Helsinki. I can stay in quarantine in Finland two weeks in my flat. But when I come back, then I come like uh, inside a jail, some hotel close to Beijing will take me for two weeks and this is very strict quarantine. You, can, you really cannot go anywhere. So right. I, was, I was six weeks in that kind of quarantine without going anywhere. So they brought me food here in January, February, beginning of March. And so this is completely different quarantine here. So we, China is strong and strict and this can, can fight uh, coronavirus. Let's see what happens when the world will open. So I have big suspicion it takes a long time. So yeah. just emergency surgery now? Emergency surgery or elective surgery? No, no it is also elective surgery done. So it was many weeks. It was six weeks was this hospital nearly totally closed. It had no no Elective surgery on the emergencies were done, and only very few of them. But now it is beginning all time, all the time more. So last week I operated, or this week I operated one AVM. Yesterday, a complex MC and next week it's, it's going more cases. And like I told you, so the endovascars are here extremely strong. So in our hospital there are more than 1,000 aneurysms a year and uh, three-fourths are treated by endovascular means. More complex are coming to surgery and one of the important things here in China even this communistic country so the poor people have to take the cheapest treatment so there is a big difference as compared to Scandinavian countries. So uh, what I get is difficult cases and poor people. So these are my patients. So rich people go to endovascular surgery. This is, this is how it goes here. And mm -hmm. I, of course it cannot be changed, but uh, this is in Nepal it was uh, so that it was uh, even more poor in Nepal, mm -hmm. so the people didn't have e even money to pay for a clip. A clip is three hundred dollars, so they didn't have money for that. And of course, they had big families, so ten people in the family, so they had to think about the food and how to manage the situation with those who are healthy and they need food. Mm -hmm. So China is big and complex and big population. One of the things you see that uh, Dr. Sian has been abroad and speaking English, but the communication is here difficult because few people are speaking English. But I have a good secretary speaking well English and some colleagues speak English and then a very good operation room team. Very good scrub nurse speaking English and uh, actually we don't have to speak anymore because we we understand each other's without that and very good anesthetist and uh, very good mm -hmm. operation room it is the same looks like looks the same than Helsinki also so this we don't know where you are operating on except one of the things in China is that they are they are very talkative and speak a lot in operation room. This is difficult to calm down. But this is one of the difficulties. So this one I couldn't do. And I, I think during my lifetime, I cannot change 
to have that kind of silent silent operation room. Never like the Asaki we were in Helsinki we were we had music popular music playing. This one we don't have but there is a lot of talking. So but I try to concentrate but in critical situation I must my physics just like talking and one of the things is that in China they talk very loud and uh, I I have asked many times why is that so it is the maybe the tradition when they were working at the paddy fields so you had to shout and this is very common here this is the uh, explanation now we are planning what to do in the holidays with P3 so we are looking for places in China, uh, which places we can go, Tibet, Mongolia, Chinese side, these are the possibilities for holidays now. Inside China we are free to travel, but uh, as I told you, current times, two weeks at both ends make traveling now impossible. Otherwise we are doing very well, so we have a good food and good, good flat, very nice flat and the uh, TV is now broken, so we have internet connection. And Fitri is looking at the Korean drama now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's good to see you. Huh? Okay, very good, Dr. Kian and, and you. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, you're welcome mm -hmm. to present anytime you want, Dr. Kian. And of course, you are. You're welcome to present anytime. And welcome to all the panelists. Yeah. And uh, we hope to make this a regular feature. So. Thanks everybody yeah, for coming. Uh, uh, Dr. Sian, I may ask you, you have ahead. one more case? Go ahead. We, we can plan, we can plan next time we, we have more cases. So I'm sorry okay, for that. Yes. Hold it. We, okay. we, take, no we, take, we take more cases, yeah. Okay. Take more okay. cases and we plan, okay. plan. So it okay. was very nice. This is your first trial. We, you did very well. And it, was, it was, first time is always difficult. Then it goes, now we will go proceed and then we can join John Bennett more frequently and yeah. show mm -hmm. cases in China, here in Henan Provincial People's Hospital, there are cases like Miracle. This was a regular case that we see Miracle, cases like Miracle, so we can show and discuss. So we take more cases next time, so we mm -hmm. promise and we plan well. Okay, very good. Yeah. Very good. Yes, 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 very good. Yes, no problems. And we will prepare the more case the next time. Professor. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. It's, a, it's a great start. Thanks everybody for coming. Thank Bye. You. Bye.